a Lee Sin. Yeah. And just run them through, just like game number one. It's gonna be a different story here now in the second game. Cerberus Esports with a having a, not a lot of damage though in their composition. This is gonna be bad. Genza is gonna be the only one who will have that early game damage. What are they gonna pick here for the ADC? Because there's not a lot of choices now for uh, for Genza. Because the Zeri has been banned, the Silver has been taken off. They don't really have a lot of choices. Renekton, yeah, that's gonna be a good pick. But what is Genza gonna pick? A Quirky? That's gonna be mm. bad. <laughs> that's gonna be oh, bad. Oh, again, just uh, another squishy champion. Yes, this this does have some zoning potential, does have some escape tool as well. With the Valkyrie, the package can work for isolating as well and some zoning. What we're talking about as Esports right now that has massive lockdown potential. They ha even have picked up the Orn. And now the Fiora is going to be locked in. This is going to be so scary. All the front lines now, Cerberus Esports, are going to be very vulnerable. Yeah, and Fade picking up the Fiora too on the jungle. <laughs> oh my, this is a massive flex for the squad. Lee Sin is available and they didn't even pick a Lee Sin on their side. They just pick up the Fiora because they don't really mind. This is one of the problems that we have, right? When you have a composition like this, it's going to be a problem of having CCs. But when you have an Orn and you have a Camille already, that's not going to be a problem here for this side of now as Esports, which is why this composition is kind of okay to work with. But now, having an ADC as a core key on the side of Cerberus Esports, they only have magic damage. Core key is only yeah. magic damage now. So you don't really have... They only need to itemize magic resist for this time. And they're gonna be fine. Oh my, uh, what? If, plus if they manage to take down the fight, they manage to take down the Renekton, who's gonna, gonna deal AD now? No one. And everyone from, from Cerberus Esports is definitely going to struggle. One way that Cerberus Esports can also struggle is if Nas Esports is gonna be able to successfully bully both BMM and Genza. And that is the only two scaling champions they have. Yeah, they only have two champions that they could have here, but again, now it's esports. Oh my, this is gonna be bad. And also, that's where the problem lies here, Gyeong, because the only damage that they could have in the early game is gonna be Taku. Y1 doesn't really deal as much. It's gonna be a CC that you're looking for for a buy, and Renekton is your only early game champion. And once he doesn't win that early game matchup in the top lane, this team is just gonna fall over in the early game, especially if ever they don't really go for that top side advantage. Margo is run away here in this fight, but again, now C Sports is way ready, way ahead of what Cerberus wants to do here. Let's see how Cerberus Esports are going to be executing this kind of composition. Duckface already low. Exhaust going to come through just to bully out. Kenza again, just early game, level one. Oh, this is not the greatest start here for Cerberus Esports. Yeah, it's going to be bad for Cerberus here, especially in the early game, what they do need to do this is one of the problems too jungle pathing people really don't mind what jungle pathing people do but this jungle pathing specifically for the side of servers esports is not a good way to start because what you want to do is give renekton as much advantage as as you could but because mm -hmm. you started on the top side of the map you're gonna be forced to gank at the bottom lane and it's gonna be bad here top side already going for the fight ignite has been burned for both sides but not a kill just yet yeah, just some pressure that attack is giving towards Calm. Actually, is a great indicator that the uh, server's esports pattern laner is still gonna be fine this despite the uh, the rotation here of Y1 possibly just going towards mm -hmm. mid lane or bottom lane, and it's gonna take some time before he reaches top lane and impact there as well. Yeah. He has to be very careful though of Calm later on when Fate goes through there. It's going to be very very difficult for this Renekton to survive. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the hardest matchups that you need to fight against Taku. Oh Ooh. no! He got an advantage in that battle, though. That's going to be good for Calm here in the top side. Because once you lose that early game advantage just on Renekton, this is going to be way, way worse for your side. Yeah, so much worse later on as well. As the game goes by, now Esports has invested on four scaling champions. That's how scary this composition is. And it's per it, it can also be perfectly synergized to actually work well in the early game as well. We saw how Nas Esports performed in game number one, Cerberus Esports definitely had a uh, a difficult time managing them. And since this composition of Cerberus Esports is very top side centric, they really need to make plays there. Y1 Ooh. is going to be going in with the flash as well for the very season. Smart. Kondo is still being able to survive for so long. Start. And BMW even helped out but unable to get any kills. Yep. Started with adaptive defenses. That is good. 
for them. That's why he was able to survive there, just because of that one hit on Y1. And BMM, looking to get a kill with the Tides of Blood and the Chance Fusion. That's not how you're supposed to work in the early game as a Vladimir. Yeah, almost even died when, with the tower shot a while ago. Fortunately, he does have the blood pool to be able to negate what, that one auto attack. That oh! was so close. They want to go into the bottom lane this time around. Genza oh! had to flash away. Still, it's going to be fine. Exhaust going to come through, though. Towards Duff B just Ooh. to slow him out. And again, that's just massive pressure once again. Yeah, that, was, that is what they want to do. Just to pressure the lane as much as they could. They could have baited Margo there. But what happened was they turned around. Marco almost got the kill there. Oh, that was so scary. And again, this is this is not the start that Cerberus Esports wants. This is not the start you, anyone would want that is supportive of, of Cerberus Esports. Now Esports definitely pulling them from minute one. In top lane, they are denying constantly any approach of <laughs> Cerberus Esports. Yeah. Taco again, just trying to fight out Calm. What they need to do here... One of the best things that they could do for Calm here is just to make... Yeah, this is oh. what they want to do. They want to... Oh. As much as possible, they want Calm to lose here. Why one could go for a gank here? He does spot him out. Oh. They are level 6. Sextic to them going to be used. Unable to just escape. But here comes Fate with the Grand Chance. This time, Why one's going to be in the bad spot. Calm oh. is for surviving for so oh. long. Here's Anthem is going to be used. Can they actually help out? That was going to be avoiding Whoa. some of the damage. But Fate surviving for so long as well. Finally, is going to be falling oh. down. Mitsura and BMM helping out. Kong is going to be in a bad spot. Mitsura takes down the Vladimir. Two for two. Who will strive? Who will win? Mitsura is just going to be walking away. Still has the damage here with a five-point strike. Service Esports actually getting the better end than that for Taku. They are also going to be able oh, to Oh, no. <laughs> 4v3. That was a 4v3 fight and they were able Ooh. to win. But no, never mind. They want more. Mitsura hiding under the shroud. Still can fight. Shuriken will connect. We'll just focus on the way to get the gold no. here and the XP as well. Taku can still Damage. engage. Can they actually nice. do it? The flash is going to be coming through. What? One more on attack with the 5 point strike. not going to be here able to, to take him down for now. Fate doesn't have a flash this time around. Ah, uh, we'll be denying that uh, kill. That, oh, the jump shot in the middle. <laughs> oh man, I thought he's gonna go for the repost play there. They launch the repost if ever. That could have been a great kill, but you've seen the amount of micro skill that that guy has, Mitsuda. He was able to flash away just for him to deny the gank happening on their side, and now they're starting dragon. This is good for service esports, but can that esports do anything in that? Mirmo has to walk away with the Arcane Shift as well, just because of that damage coming in from Y1. Can they fight? They have a ward on Genza oh. as well. That's the charge. That's a knock up. BMM as well. Being harassed here by Mitsuda. Great, at least, body body block there by Taku. But the uh, trade of objective is gonna come in through. This mid lane should fall down, unless Service Esports are gonna be able to deny that one plate takedown. That's yeah. good. So far, they wanna commit though. Fate oh. and Calm making sure they have the leverage here. Mitsuda's also in the area. Cancelling the recall, but I don't think they oh. are just going to be pursuing just yet. Genza, though, Ooh. is in a bad spot. Hero's Enzo is going to be used. Season Desist as well. Towards the Mirmon is going to be falling down. Perfect timing by Service Esports. Yep. Great punishment as well. And Margo doesn't have any mana right now. BMM. BMM is just in prime time to help out as well. He has to walk it out. But can he actually be able to do so? The answer is no. And Service Esports gets two. Yeah, that's going to be two kills on their side. And that was also because they started the fight. Mirmo making a mistake of going for an arcane shift inside the tower. That was one yep. of the mistakes that he had there. Let's take a look at that again. What happened here is that they want to get the kill on Genza. But always remember, when you have a Galio on the other side, Hero's Entrance should always be on your mind that it's going to be available. And that's why they got punished there. And also just great positioning and timing by Y1. Immediately punishing the arcane shift of Mirmo. Yeah. Making him regret going in. And that oh, also wait. denied the tower takedown in the bottom lane. But mid lane, they will be able to finally take it down. Unlocking at least the, the jungle comes now of service esports. Yeah. Too late there. Now they already got the tower on the mid lane. Advantage for the side of Dallas esports. Even though weren't able to pull through. Y1's gonna go in again. Yes. And Assault and Battery gonna be used, used as well. Mirmo is just gonna be blown no. up. And now Esports has nothing to do right now here in this fight. Unless Fate is yeah. just gonna be joining. Grand Tanner is gonna be used immediately Wait. bursting down the Ord as well. And that's two kills for Cerberus Esports. Well, too aggressive though. They have a lot of people there. Now Esports still choose to actually go to go for fight. But that's not how it's supposed to go. They should have just waited True. for it. And just waited for them to have a lot more team. Or at least just disengage. 
Yeah, that was not the best decision coming in from Naos Esports. Cerberus Esports knew better. They capitalized on it right now. Yeah, and now what they, they can do here for the squad. Cerberus Esports could capitalize on the confidence that this team, Naos Esports, had during game one. And they could potentially be able to get a win, snag a win against Naos Esports. Yeah, if we compare both of the ADCs now, Genza, despite that early heavy beatdown that he has received, is not really training that much behind compared to Mirmo. That's just, just 300. And this is a 40 that can poke out a little bit more towards the, uh, the late game fights because they have the better front lines. Yeah, what's so hard about this too, for the composition that they drafted for now as esports, they really don't have a CC. Yes, the Hextech Ultimatum, we can make an argument that the Hextech Ultimatum is going to be good. There's the Call of the Forge God, but there's not really a lot, right? You can already take yeah. one, but what comes after? That's going to be the question. And the CCs that they have for Margo is not really that reliable compared to what they had for Cerberus Esports. Yeah, absolutely. Plus this Fiora, right? That doesn't really have any yeah. sort of crowd control except for the repose. If he is going to be denying or blocking one of the crowd control servers, esports is going to be more difficult as well. But they have the late game skin. I think now yeah. esports is just going to be playing this much more patiently than than a while ago because they're being punished too heavily already by servers esports. Six is to two is the skill Ooh. the kill score. Top lane though, Mitsuda actually just leaving it in there towards BMM and will be shoving them away. In the bot side, though, just a fight, a new objective rises, and that's the red. <laughs> they got the takedown, too. Naos was able to steal it. And in this fight, as we can see from this game, what they can do here for the side of service esports, because they're slowly scaling, right? They already are close to getting the second item, and that is when BMM could definitely do some damage. After he gets the third item down, they're starting to fight. Wow, Margo taking two, three punches there from Y1, and that's a third of his HP already, the tankiest member of now's esports yeah what they can do here as much as possible they should find a way to make use of fate what you need to do when you have a fiora jungle is to find a way to go to side lanes because with this composition that they've drafted they won't be able to get easy side lane uh, ganks compared yeah. to what y1 could do oh this is gonna be a little bit more challenging for Cerberus esports actually starting now 10 minutes is again with just one of the many power spikes that Naos Esports is going to be getting. They can yeah. interfere on the scaling objective here of Cerberus Esports, but it's going to be still tricky. Yeah, it's still going to be hard. Empty setup, what's going to happen here? Cerberus Esports on the bottom side of the map. Different setups, different sides. Still have the package on their side. If ever they start this, it's going to be good for Cerberus. Cerberus Esports having a great ground here. They have the Scuttle Crab movement speed as well. And Vision in the area. Calm gonna be initiating a little bit there with the tactical sweep. Duck B is oh. really close. He's insist onto him as well. Hexical to minimum as the response. And Heroes enters the zone out. Now it's Esports, but still, it's not gonna be enough. That is gonna be the, the bad spot right now. Oh. And now it's Esports just coming through at them right now as Mitsura. well. The damage is high. And everyone's fleeing from them what as well. And everyone will not be able to escape. Everyone will die. And now it's Esports also gets it. Dragon. And if you take a look at that fight right there, Genza went in with the package and what you don't want to do is do that against an Akali. Look at the replay yeah. here. Genza went in with the package and he was cancelled and that was a chance for Mitsura to go in getting a double kill in the process. And that's why there from there it already started to go in favor of Naos Esports. It went so bad for Cerberus Esports and they even... Well, was able, they, they even left the dragon unscathed oh, just for the Naos Esports to be able to take it. And suddenly, we see a big shift in gold lead now towards Naos Esports. It was dead even for 10 minutes straight. But Naos Esports... What was that? That was so unfortunate. That could have been Cerberus Esports if they didn't make any mistakes in that fight. Because they already have position. Naos was in the back end, but now it's going to start again. They want to take down Mitsura. It's going to be a very difficult. Oh. Here comes the squad. Season is going to be denied. The Grand Chance right now is going to be healing Mitsura up as well. Genza going to be next. Immediately take down by Naos Esports as well. Margo stacking the tower and it's going to be oh allowing my. the rest to just take those kills. Triple kill as well for, for Fate. Just in time for this Baron. Taki, you can take the tower right now because Naos Esports is just going to get this Baron. Another Baron at 12 minutes. They did it game one and they're gonna do it again. Now C Sports are so good. 
now that they're fixated on Mitsuda because of that one dragon fight, they can use Mitsuda as an advantage for themselves. Mitsuda is going to be getting a lot of that attention. And when that starts, Cerberus is just going to flock into that guy and they're going to lose sight of what they need to actually go for. That's the zone control of Anakali. You, 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 it, it gets them baited off. 4-0-4 as the score, Rabadon's death cap completed already. Not only is gonna, he going to be distracting the members of Cerberus Esports, he's going to hurt them as well real bad. Oh man, Mitsura is just making a highlight reel out of this series. Yeah. I think he's, he's just doing it for the highlight. He's just so good this game. Honestly, he, he probably woke up feeling great today. And that's why he's just getting <laughs> zero deaths on both games. Oh no, I just called it. I hope I don't jinx it that oh, he's not going to oh, get zero oh, oh, deaths oh, here. Oh. No, 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 don't worry. We didn't hear anything. We didn't I hope hear so. Anything. I hope no, so. Yeah, no, no, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing was said. Nothing was heard. The game's not over yet. Let's see <laughs> what Hazy e Sports is going to be doing right now. Service e Sports still has a chance, though. We cannot discount them just yet. Oh. Yeah, the forest spikes as well. BMM Ooh. can still deal damage later on, but not now. Wait. He's taking more damage oh. than he's supposed to. That <laughs> meter and chat was so scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That could have been a kill if that hit, though. Oh, he actually flashed. He actually went through as well. Fate's oh! gonna be the target. Since this is also the hero's end is gonna be to zone them out. And great denial as well. Towards Mitsuda, the man actually being able to take him down. That's Wait. gonna be successfully denying the Ooh. undefeated strike or the uh, no casualty strike there of Mitsura. Oh no. And we're sorry, Mitsura. We're definitely sorry. <laughs> yeah, and there's the strike down. Ball breaker. Oh, oh! denied! <laughs> Style points by yeah. Fate. I thought oh. that's gonna be it though. He was waiting for that ball breaker and that repost could could have been a timing. But now this is what they can do. Cerberus Esports with this advantage, usually now as esports, they press for whenever they get advantage, they press for more. And that is mm -hmm. one of the reasons why sometimes they trip up. And Cerberus Esports exploited that during this one one fight that we've seen in the top side and the bot side. And that denied them on getting those inhibitor turns. And that's a good way to go about it. Yeah, they can still stall, they can still delay, they can still scale for Cerberus Esports. Yes, they are down by 4,000, that, but at 15, at 16, at 20 minutes, that's not gonna matter. And they're just waiting for, again, the mistakes of Naos Esports. They know they have more crowd control, they have more setups, they have the greater punishment capability as well. They can easily burst down Mitsura right now, especially that they have anti-healing. They have as well the, the items being picked up right now by both BMM and Genza. And now Esports has to be more careful now. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen here for Service Esports. They can slowly take this over. A 4k gold lead is not bad whenever you have a Corky and a Vladimir on your side. But the problem still lies. The only damage that they can really look forward to is going to be AP damage. And look at how they're going to itemize here inside of Naos Esports. They're going to just build a lot of magic resist. So the damage coming in from Service Esports is not going to be a problem even if you go to the late game, Taku being chased out. It's as well. Just gonna be pinning him down despite the root of the predator. He is the play this oh, time around. Fate though might be in a bad spot. Neither and Chen Fate still survives. Ignite. One oh. Finally, it's gonna be taken down. And Service Esports should get this dragon unless now so Esports can still go into this fight. Back to the sweep it with the hook shot as well. BMM going in with the Tides of Blood as well. Yes, the steal oh, my go on the dragon. Thank you for the leash, it says. And now so Esports is not done. They want to secure kills. Kenza is just gonna be last. And Mitsuda is looking for him as well. Fortunately, he was able to dodge oh, that dragon. Oh my. Still gonna be fine, but again, now Z Sports just oh. miraculously getting the fight and the objective. I want to see a replay of what happened there during that fight because from what we've seen there, they didn't really use their uh, their spite on that fight, and that's why now was just able to take it uh, during that battle. But again, whenever you're fighting against like a Kali, you always need to be careful, especially when you go to the Dragon Spit. You could be an easy target for Mitsuda. 16 minute barrier. Genza, this what? Is the very same thing what? a while ago. Genza, no! This what? is what happened last what? time against Jito Blacklist Why? and he died again! Oh, Why? I mean, that was a good attempt, but uh, not, you can't really do what? anything with fate there. What? Wait, what, what, what is happening? What, why did he do that? Oh, uh, this is not gonna be good though. When you do that, that's, that's a big indication. That he's probably tilted at this point. I, ho I I hope not, but it seems like that as well. And now it's esports, since they have the numbers advantage, it will take time. 30 seconds before this 4K respawns. No one's gonna be able to defend the base. I mean, they don't have the long range folks. 
Baron and Fire Minions are going to be much easier to push towards towers. They're doing it right now on all three lanes too. In service esports, oh man, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. And also, because of that death, he's too late to defend this. That's going to be a tower down their side, but they're going to go for a cease and desist. But no one's going to be there to follow up. He There's has Andrew Ken, but who else? No one. They, they don't have the Corky finally. Genza is going to be defending the bottom lane, but Gom is just going to be calmly securing the skill under the next and is not going to be able to do anything despite everything that he's trying to do. Mitsura as well, just wanting to give Genza a one sided oh, takedown. Mitsura, look yeah, at the, the base wide open! What with style that? points as well! Cool wow. guys, don't look at explosions! An explosive game as well for now, so East Force, they just wanted to end this game right now. BMM going oh, in with the wait. desperation plays. Can they actually still defend? They have the levers, they have the gold, they still have the ways. What a true shot barrage! Just completely Game's denies done. it and now see sports 2-0 right now two more games and they're just gonna sweep service esports oh man as we said during this game that's gonna lead to a problem once we head into the late game building magic resist is the only thing 